Alright there guys, Axeman here. Um, so, welcome to another redstone tutorial video. Um, basically, what I'm going to go over is something that I didn't get to show yesterday in my live stream. Um, basically, coming towards the end of the live stream, I started working on this, and basically, to explain it in terms of, sort of Hogwarts terms, in the Ministry of Magic they have um, a room with, a circular room with 12 doors on it. And basically, every time you go into the room, the doors where they lead to changes. So, what we have, um, well, what I've done is using some redstone. I've decided that we're going to sort of do something similar. And uh, what happens is this here is what I made yesterday, um, right after the live stream. And there's a 12 point um, shift register. So it's adapted from something which I saw Cube have to do, which is a little counter that he did, which basically worked so that it would lock in um, a redstone signal using the new latch with the repeaters. And I adapted it to make it so that um, having an input signal, it wouldn't move on until it received an input signal. So as you can see, this is the currently selected one. These are all red. This is the one which is different. And hitting the button will make it move along one every time. And that will carry on all the way around and it just keeps going forever because it's a nice circle. And uh, also, if you stand on top of this, it will uh, just keep moving along until you jump off. So, using this, what we're going to have under here is well, here's well, I'll show you this first. This was my first idea of implementing it. And basically, I was going to have a massive matrix of 12 by 12 um, command blocks, which um, when the depending on the register, it would do a certain row of them would only be active, but it was too hard to fit in all the AND gates which would be needed um, in this space. So like, I managed to get this first row to work, this would have worked this first bottom row, however there wasn't space to fit in the next row which would have had to go in at this height here. So, unless we like doubled it, which I didn't really want to do, because it was already taking up quite a bit of space. So we sort of scrapped that and uh, I sort of went to bed. And uh, while thinking last night, I decided to do um, this as I was laying in bed. So this basically works in the same way as the shift register above. But basically, um, when you step on it, so there'll be one of these at each of um, where the doors are in front of the doors or something similar. When you step on it, it just shifts around the register and keeps going all the way around, around, shifting around. And then when you come off it, it puts a signal into the block. So this works in the same way, you can have see the register down here, and then it uses that and inverted AND gates here to make it so that the signal comes on when you step off it. And um, having the signal on won't change anything. So as you can see, we can stand there, and it'll just keep shifting around, and the one which we selected would be that one. And so where these glowstones are going to replace with the command blocks. And it would be that one. So that's basically what I built last night. I'll jump back and show you just how exactly how the shift register works a bit better. Um, we'll start by deleting all these rows because they are no longer needed. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually put this into Hograft yet. It's rather big. What's there? So I'm going to decide how big I want this first, and then sort of copy and paste it in, and then replace all the wall. But basically. What you have is um, double latches here. Uh, it's double because just to get the time right, you could make it just one if you wanted to. But I think when I added one, it would skip. It would go along two because it would travel that distance in the space of one press of the button or pressure pad, the shortest amount of time. So I had to have five clicks. Um, and then instead of having it go straight into the next one, it needs to have this. Because the only way you can get an output from it, otherwise it, uh, there's no way to have an output at all. I would have liked to have. I would have thought it would be um, there'd be an input that basically, if a latch is on, where is the one which is currently active? If a latch is on like this, then I would have thought that um, it would produce a signal out. So in my opinion, well, that didn't matter watching this, but this should produce a signal into this, and this shouldn't. So when it's off, there shouldn't be a signal. 
but when a latch is active and locked on, it should produce a signal out sideways. But I would like that, but because you can't do that, basically you have to have um, each one go into one of these blocks where you can then take off the signal. I've done used redstone torches. And uh, this here is basically just keeps the latch on just uh, by using redstone torches. And when you come off it, it locks it again. So yeah, that's pretty much um, what I worked on last night this morning after the live stream. Um, yeah, I said I'd do a summary of uh, what I did because uh, I can't upload my live streams because of the music in them. In the future, I think I'll try to use music by Pritchard Nirvana. In that case, I'll be able to upload them without any. Just to show you guys, this is it. Um, well, the new sort of um, one moved in underneath here, and um, basically these here are all where all the um, things will go once I put them in. All the pressure plates will be here. I've shrunk the size of this to this little smaller room, and um, basically, well, to simulate a but where's this button here? And as you can see, where is it? That is currently there. We hit the button, this redstone go, and it moves to the next register. And uh, holding this for a longer time than you can really. You can hold that for a long time. And it will uh, do one. We'll keep going around. So we can hold on to this. And we'll load up that one. So, um, that's pretty much it done now so what we're going to do is we're going to jump over into uh, well I'll jump over into uh, MC edit in another time and uh, copy and paste in and replace this wall so keep an eye out for the next hardcraft video and I will show you it implemented in and hopefully working ish <laughs>